Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review on this fire torch. So first things first, where did I get it? I got it from Amazon. It is the Homet or Homet multifunctional butane torch. Uh, the reflection there, there you go. So here's what the packaging looks like. There we go. When I think of a butane torch like this, I think of something for making creme brulee for the top. So you can use this for a variety of things and for maybe home projects, but this, basically makes me feel like a fancy chef, even though I haven't used it for any type of cooking because I don't know how to make creme brulee, first of all, and I'm just not really sure what to make that would require this besides that. So here's a look at the size. You can see it's pretty big. You can fit your whole hand around it, um, but here just for a size reference. I think that's pretty standard for this type of thing. Now, what I like about this is that it has a lot of safety features, and I'm not sure if all of them are like that because again, I've never used a little butane torch from anywhere else. Little, it's kind of big, standard, right? So here is the little safety stopper that it comes with. You slide this in all the way to the top. At first I wasn't doing it right and I was like, why can I still press this? But there you go, that's how you do it. And then nothing comes out. Now it also came with a few tools to help you fill up the butane torch with butane gas. And I actually didn't end up needing any of these, but if you do, depending on how you're filling it up, I had a little can that just ran out and my husband threw it out, so I can't show you it anymore. But um, it was just like a little tall, skinny can, and you can use some of these tips to help you out because what you do is it just goes in right here. So you would either do it directly or you can use one of these tools to help you out. There's instructions on the box. Let me get the box. There you go. So that's the red tool, which would be this little piece right here. And you just kind of connect it like that and that helps you get the gas in there. So I don't know if I'll ever need these, but I'm just going to put them all in here because I don't wanna lose the pieces if I do end up needing them later. So let's test this out with a candle. Take off the safety stopper. And here's a candle I got from a local shop in town. And we're just going to light it up. go so it's pretty powerful i really like this so if i just have a regular lighter and i don't have the type of lighter with the long nozzle i wouldn't be able to reach deep into candles you know like the bigger jar bigger than this like a bigger jar uh with the wicks all the way down at the bottom that my hand wouldn't fit into so this would be very helpful for that but i think i'm going to stick to using this for cooking purposes. Another thing I also really like about this is that there's a little window here and you can see when you're running low on gas. It's also really helpful when you're filling this up because you can see when you're at your limit. Also, I think it's at a pretty good price point. It's under $30 and for the quality that it is, it is so worth it. And now that I have this, it's actually pushing me to want to try some recipes that require the use of a butane torch because it's gonna make me feel really fancy. And I just got a new recipe book and there are a few recipes that require this. And at the time when I was reading those recipes, I was like, I'm never gonna be able to make this. Or if I do, it's not gonna be the same because I don't have a butane torch, but now I do. So we are switching things up in the kitchen. So overall, I think this is a great product to have, great find on Amazon, great quality as well. And if you are looking for something like this, look no further. I'm gonna link this down below so that you can get your hands on it. And let me know what recipes you make using this because I'm looking to add to my little recipe book now that I have this butane porch. Help me feel fancy. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.